Hey guys, this is Subramani. You are watching me on my YouTube channel, Witty Jester. In order to shape the career of the freshers and to help those looking for a career change, each and every day I am posting various videos in order to cultivate their technical skills. One among that is that there is 90 days Python plan to become a data analytics engineer. In this particular episode, I am just going to give you some brief intro about the most important mathematical functions which are available under the module math. Still there are various other functions, other uh, mathematical calculations which are available in NumPy, Pandas and statistics modules. But in this particular episode, we are going to concentrate on the important modules that are important functions that are available inside the math module. With no further delay, let's dive into the Jupyter notebook. So first, uh, let me show you some quick info about uh, different concepts that we are going to discuss here. They are about digital numbers, div mode function, power, truncate, flow, seal, round, distance, GCD, factorial, is infinity, prod, function sum, still many more other concepts. First, there are uh, some concepts like binary, octal, hexadecimal which are already discussed in the previous episode. Now I have some values like x is equal to 20, y is equal to 50 and z is equal to 60. Now I am going to convert this 20 into a binary format. For that I can write bin of x. This will give you the binary value of x and similarly to get the octal value of y I just declared a variable oct underscore y and again if you have any doubt in declare in assigning the variable name or in what are all the different ways we can assign a variable name please go and refer the uh, particular video that i have made like how, regarding assignment variable uh, what are the different ways or what are all the different naming methods we can give for a variable declaration and now i have to convert it to an octal value so i am going to give it as octal of y and next thing is z is equal to 60 i'm going to convert it as an hexadecimal value so for that i'm going to make it as hexa value of z all are in small letter bin of and x now i'm just uh, running the statement and i'm going to parallelly print this let's see the output so you can see the output as the binary value of 20 is given as 10 10 and octal value of 50 is given as 62 you can see this terms right let me zoom it. You can see the naming conversion as given such way. So we are, uh, binary for binary we get B, for octal we get 0, O uh, small O and for hexadecimal we get a lower case X. So this is how the result will be. And next to get a number directly like say finding the octal value of 8 or hexadecimal value of 10 or say let me run the octal, I need to know the octal value of 800, I need to know the exact decimal value of 102567, let me run this code. So this is the octal value of 800 and this is the octal value of exact decimal 190A7. So till this you can see what are all the binary and uh, binary decimal, octal and exact decimal corresponding values. For a given decimal value we find the octal decimal and hexadecimal value. This is one side. Now we are going to discuss certain things related uh, that are available inside the math module and some there are some other functions that can be implemented even without uh, running the import math module. Some common functions say like I have something like x and y that is a function called div mode. Using this div mode if you pass x comma y so x will be divided by the y. So divider and divisor will be passed out. Now I am going to print this value. So let me run the print statement also. I am running it. So I am getting 100 divided by 26. The quotient part is 3 and the remainder part is 22 or without any decimal conversion just it giving you me the proper uh, integer value. So this is the answer. Next, let's say how we can calculate the power. We have something called a power function, say power, P -W -P -O -W, and we can pass the value say 2 raised to 32. So 2 is the base value and 32 is the power value. 
it, it, when you when you oh, oh, over your mouse near this point you can see equivalent of x it is equivalent to x double star y which is used to calculate the power values x power 32 will be given so i have not given the print statement so let me run the print statement for this So this is the corresponding value. Next, we are going to implement a function called trunk. Before that, we have to run this math function. So import math. This is something, a module. Within this module, there are various mathematical functions available. In order to access that particular functions, we have to make use of this math. So initially, you have to write import math. Then you can run your queries. First function within this math is trunk. So math dot trunk, what this trunk is actually going to do is, it returns the truncated integer part of a number. Truncated integer part means without a decimal number, only the integer part alone will be getting. Let me run this cell. So what is the output? The output is minus 99. So only the truncated integer part, without a decimal part, the output will be given. Then with the, when we have something called round. So for this round function, again we don't need math directly we can call this around function you simply we can pass some values and you have to give the nearby around of value for example i am giving it 4 so what will be the corresponding result 89.76543 so the corresponding result should be 89.76543 i have got the answer next within this math function so you can see like uh, div mode power round all this can be accessible all these are accessible without using math function and next we have something called floor the most important question is floor and seal floor will give you the nearest smallest integer value which is not greater than the given value gives the nearest or equal integer value of x not greater than the integer value specified and specify the integer value here as 100 so even though say first let me discuss say like i am giving a uh, 0 0 either give the nearest or equal integer value in case of 0 0 it's going to give me 100 itself let's say now i'm giving 50 or let me give it as 80 itself let's see what happens you will get same 100 even if you give here 9999999 so it gives the Either it gives the equal integer value or it gives a value which is not greater than the given value. Given value is 100.999. What is the integer value 100? So it does not give it does not give me a value which is greater than 100. That is the floor. If you say about us uh, again, I uh, given different value 100.901. I got 100 minus 100.901. I got minus 101 because minus 101 minus lesser than minus 100. So we have to know the difference. It is a minus. So minus 101 is lesser than 100. Minus 100. And let's say about a uh, seal function. Seal is opposite to floor. Floor will give the nearest, nearest or equal value which is not greater than the given integer. Whereas seal gives the equal or a value which is greater than the given integer value. For an example, 104. Uh, let me go for seal. 101. I have under point one. I have given just one point. I'm raising, but I'm getting it as 101. What happened for? Uh, say like 999 it returns a value not less than because it is giving a value which is not less than the given value not even equal value not even an equal value it does not gives a value equal or lesser it always gives a value greater than the given integer so one not one whereas for the same uh, thing for floor i have shown like 100 point one means it is giving 100 so that is the actual difference so same thing for floor if you want to run this one and absolute value so to know the absolute value it is nothing but if you give a negative value the positive value will be given the absolute it's a, like a mod when you take a mod what we do like when we're studying about vector concepts like a mod will be taking mod means we'll be taking only the real value of that number so for, to know that we will be implementing f apps people used to confuse math.apps no it is f apps abs abs means absolute value so let me print this this is one of the scenario so this will give me the absolute value and let me 
run this part alone my code so this minus 6 absolute value of the minus 6 will be 6 right and next one is like a uh, factorial next we're going to see something like a uh, factorial a uh, factorial as we know we will be know calculating the factorial of any functions like 5 factorial take 5 factorial 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so we'll be finding the factorial combinations similarly we know the factorial of 5 is 120 let me run this math dot factorial and i didn't i failed to print it okay let me print it So, we will be getting the factorial of 50 and next one is like uh, returning the sum of all values in an i trouble. Uh, what is this about? For an example, let us say an i trouble. What are i troubles? Array, list. Whenever there are multiple values packed together, we call them as a i troubles. Say like a list. A list is equal to, uh, let me have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you want to calculate all the if you want to calculate the sum of all these numbers, then we use a function math.fsum. Math.fsum will give you the sum of all the numbers. F math.fprod will give you the product of all numbers, just prod, not f prod. And here instead of the i trouble, i trouble means like array, list, whatever. Here I make it as a list, LST I am given. You can give any variable name. Again the same list value. So I am just going to... Uh, print this. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. Uh, I think again prod is not in this particular uh, module it seems. Moth has no attribute prod. So recently they have removed some of the packages so I can understand because while I was preparing this code in the last month I can execute all this but now it is not executable. So there are some deviations. So these things will be noted. So let me make a note like uh, prod com math.prod math.com math.permutation perm so these are all the some functions which are actually not getting executed recently in the recent days. And next one is about finite and infinite concepts. So what do you mean by a finite number and what do you mean by infinite number? So any natural number is a finite number. If you divide a number by another number, we will get a proper output. It is a finite number. Whereas infinite number, they are infinitesimally very small or infinitesimally very long. For an example, let us show you this article. Uh, there are infinitely many old numbers, but there are some real numbers. 12.308 uh, or 1.115 because there are infinitely, infinitely many possible variations after the decimal. After the decimal, there are many possible variations. All this will come under a concept of uh, infinite number. For example, we divide a number and it has many number of decimal points we write 16.99 we put a bar at the top they are infinite numbers whereas finite numbers they are the decent natural numbers so these are all the information about a finite and infinite numbers so now we're going to check whether a given number is finite or not so to run that uh, we have two concepts is finite using this is is finite uh, we can actually find that whether number is finite or not if it is finite number we get true if it is not we get uh, false is not good so first thing is finite what i going to do is i am giving float value i am passing double score nan nan is nothing but not a number so let me run this it is false because the same number 0.34567 i am giving n number of variations whether this is a finite number or not even this is a finite number so uh, finite, infinite number means they are some repeated terms so then it comes under an uh, infinite number so is finite is a keyword to trace whether a number is a finite or not so we have studied about math.factorial already to know absolute value of absolute can be given in the next session i will be covering some of the most important scientific calculations uh, like what are the important functions that we actually implement for the scientific calculations especially useful for 12 students and engineering students while you make use of your records and do observations and make a calculations the scientific calculations will help you a lot. So in this scenario, in this episode, we have seen about div mode, power function and we also studied about the different ways of converting a digital number into the uh, binary, octal, hexadecimal, how to find the sum of the iterables I, I and some other concepts. Still another one concept is pending which is nothing but a uh, logarithmic and this log concept will be discussing in the upcoming episode, log, scientific calculation and trigonometrical cal calculations. Meet you in the next episode. Bye.